Give me your passy, buddy. Give me your passy. The difference between last year and this year is that we picked up from the Hollywood Hills, said bye-bye, moved to the suburb. It was on my vision board, by the way. When I get married and have children, I'm moving to Calabasas. And now I have like a mountain worth of work to do. We went from like a little two bedroom, two bath, to a contemporary five bedroom, four bath, backyard, front yard, grass, fire pit, jacuzzi. Like it's everything I never thought I would be, but I really wanted to be. I want a beer, I want a coffee, and I want- A beer and a coffee? Now that we're in the suburbs, Tommy's clothes don't have to be in the garage. Like we actually got to move his closet into the house. He, um, you know, has an office, which we didn't have before. And I consciously wanted this to be a house where Tommy has say in things that happen in the house, like, are we gonna put photographs up? Are we gonna have a couch that he wants? Where are things gonna go? As soon as the movers landed at the new place, he was like, nope, the treadmill has to go in the garage. I'm building a gym in the garage. I was like, I don't want that to happen. But like, I was like, no girl, you need to like make compromises. But I would never allow Tommy <laughs> to make a decision about decor in the casa. But if you have an extra room here or there, then let the man decorate his own office. The type of furniture that Tommy picks out is the type that you get like while you're waiting in the conveyor belt massage assembly line. This is a house that we can really dig our elbows into. We can get the house dirty because it's not, basically what we used to live in was a glass and concrete box on the top of a cliff. And now we live in like a soft, wicker, childproof, rubbery, cozy, kind of rustic vibe. You, it, you can't, it's goof proof. <laughs> How does a mom do self-care? COVID-19 stay at home has forced some positive habits for me on a personal level, which is having a routine that I never had before. Okay, we're almost done. Like, I started to work like a clock. The baby wakes up exactly at 7 a.m. He and I play for an hour. Go get that ball. At eight, we go for a couple of hours walk. I pack the stroller with all these goodies and snacks and water for him and milk and then push the stroller up the mountain. Not only have I been able to get a structure and a routine that I never had before, but I get to do it with my son, raise him with no distraction. Nice catch, nice catch. I got in shape, a lot of good things came out of that, eating healthy, having a lot more energy, and reading a ton. When you get to a point where the news is sort of driving you crazy and you just focus on what's in front of you, um, my son has been my my whole world. This year has been an obviously new level of redefining life what's important, what matters, here today, gone tomorrow, yesterday being behind us, tomorrow isn't promised. I mean, it's not anything that any of us expected, right? So I learned from my dad to make lemonade, find the positive things, and I will say that being a new mom, the best blessing of stay at home and quarantine is where else do I wanna be?